Hey everyone, I'm Alex Rome, and in this video, I'm going to teach you three piano patterns that Avicii and Kygo used in most of their songs. The coolest part about these patterns is that they're super simple to make, and they add so much rhythm to your music. Right before we jump into the video, make sure to check out my newest sample pack called Guitar Suite that contains over 300 guitar loops and melodies inspired by Avicii, Kygo, Elenium, Seven Lines, and so many more. You can even sample it for free in the description below this video. Let's jump into the tutorial. The first pattern is called a 1 8 note pattern, and Avicii uses this pattern in most of his songs. So I have a piano plugin loaded up here. In order to make this pattern, we're going to have to start with some chords. The chords that I'm going to be using sound like this. Now, to make a 1 8 note pattern, we're going to need to make the chords trigger 8 times per bar. In a standard chord progression, a 4 bar chord progression, we're going to have to take these chords and shorten them up so that they trigger 4 times per bar. So here's one bar, and here's my chords. And this is the first bar that's finished. So now I'm gonna do that with the remaining bars in this little piece here. And cool things you could do with a pattern like this is add some side chaining to make it duck and then a little bass line and get this result. This next pattern is a 1 8 dotted rhythm mixed with a 1 8 standard rhythm and it's one of Kygo's favorite rhythms because it's in like every song that he ever made. So to make this pattern happen we're going to start off with a simple chord progression and of course a piano plugin loaded up. You can use a free piano, paid piano plugin, it's up to you. And the chords that I'm going to be using sound like this. So we're going to take our chord and we're going to shorten it, but notice the big thick grid point right here. I'm actually going to come up short to that and just have it be three tick marks long. Then I'm going to repeat it and then repeat it again. But this third one, I'm going to cut. So we're getting three, three chord hits per half bar. So here's a whole bar from one to two. We have three chord hits per half bar. So it's gonna sound like this. Boom, that rolling rhythm that Kygo loves. And then we're gonna repeat this all the way throughout. We're gonna do it again down here. Once we have written all of our notes out, I'm gonna show you one little thing that you could do, and this is an optional step, but it adds a lot of groove to the rhythm. What we do is we select all the notes and then shorten them just a little bit. And then over here where it says swing, or if you're in Ableton and FL Studio, it's gonna say swing in like a different part of the piano roll, but in Logic says it right here. We're just gonna swing just a little bit uh, and make sure this says 1 16th note. Adds a little bit of funk. It's like it's like really cool. And then when everything's finished, we'll get this sound. This final piano pattern is a mixture between a dotted eighth note rhythm and just a normal standard eighth note rhythm. So we're going to use the same chords that we used in the last pattern. And these chords sound like this. So the way we form this pattern is we're going to shorten our chord similar to how we did in the last pattern instead of going perfectly on the first quarter grid. We're going to drop it back one tick mark. And we're going to do that four times. And then we're going to take this last chord, duplicate it we're going to make it a standard eighth note rhythm. So the rhythm is going to sound like this. Let's 
Let's take this chord and do the same thing. But for every second batch of chords, so we're gonna do it here and we're gonna do it down here. We're not going to have that repetitive chord at the end. So now our pattern is going to have an A section, a B section, back to an A section, and then another B section. So let's go ahead now and repeat everything we just did for these final two chords. And once we get the pattern written out, we're gonna shorten these notes just a little bit, add a little bit of swing for that increased groove factor, throw on some side chaining, and after everything, we get this. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you would like to learn more about every element of music production, whether it's any kind of pattern, mixing, songwriting, or mastering, come join me in my music production boot camp. The boot camp is not just a six week course that teaches you every element of music production, but it's also an entire backend community where you can receive unlimited feedback on your music from me and the other members of the course and also ask me any music production question that you would like. That sounds like something you're interested in. There's a link at the top of the description below and I'll see you in there. See you guys in the next video.